Scorpion wins. Fatality. Hello friends! Right now, me and Raiden are gonna give you a few tips how to defeat the second tower in the Relic Hunt. First of all, I wanna apologize when I said it is gonna be easy to get Diamond Shao Kahn. It's not. The boss jade is really challenging, especially if you started playing not long time ago and don't have very powerful Nazarene characters. But, also, this video is not gonna be a magic bullet. It's not gonna make your Fusion Zero team suddenly be able to defeat Jade. If you don't have at least Fusion 1 Nazarene team, you just there's just no way to defeat Jade. But there are a few things you can do to increase your chances. So this is how I suggest you to pick your team for the for the second tower. You go to your collection, sort your characters by attack from biggest to smallest, and pick first three Nazarelm characters you see. One. Okay, two. Three. This is the first step. It's not your final team yet, but it's basically most of it. What do you want to do next? There are a few characters that are just extremely useful in your uh, in your team. Th these characters are going to be Quan Chi, Slasher Jason, Unstoppable Jason, Relentless Jason. Four characters that are absolutely best characters for this challenge. Why? Because they can come back, Slasher and Unstoppable Jason, they're coming back with increase in power, so they are easier to get to X-Ray. You are not gonna be doing any special attacks in the Jade challenge. You're gonna be doing basic damage and X-Ray attacks. So you should pick a gear that will benefit this the most. The synergy is not very important in this challenge. What's important is damage. Because you need to be doing X-Ray attacks. Shinnok. I don't have talent tree. I don't have support cards on this account. So I'll, I'll have to compensate with uh, high damage characters because I've been playing a lot of challenges and I have quite a lot of characters. So what you want to make sure is that your X-Ray is absolutely maxed out. Give your characters gear that increase basic attack damage. Or gives you unblockable chance, it's pretty good too. And X-Ray damage. I don't have a lot of gear at all, so I'm just gonna give him something. Also, power regenerating equipment. All power regenerating equipment you can get to all of your characters. It's gonna be Stormhead, it's gonna be bloody... Uh, some, some Faction Wars equipment. It's gonna be Dragon Essence. Just click through all your gear and pick the best gear that regenerates power. You will need a lot of power, guys. Combat Knife, it's a very good equipment for uh, some... some damage. Some basic damage. I'm sorry, I completely skipped this step too. So after you put your three strongest Netherrealm character in your team, take a look at the next three Netherrealm characters that you have. If one of them is Slash Jason, Unstoppable Jason, Quan Chi, or uh, Relentless Jason, replace the weakest character in your team with the strongest of those four. So let's take a look. My next uh, Netherrealm characters are gonna be Dark Empress Kitana, Boring... Um, who else? Freddy Krueger, not very good. And Tournament Quan Chi. Tournament Quan Chi is actually one of them. I think it's, he's one of the five characters that are going to be super useful. He's going to be reflecting some damage, which is going to be pretty huge. So probably you would want to replace your weakest character with Tournament Quan Chi. So I think I replace my... Now I have to decide. Cold War Scorpion or Revenant Kun Lao? I think I'll replace Cold War Scorpion with Tournament Quan Chi. And I'll level up my Kun Lao a little bit so he is... Because he is higher fusion, level ups are gonna do a lot of good for him. So you need to fine tune your team to the level when it's gonna be possible for you to defeat Jade Boss. I'm just gonna give him to level 40 and I'm gonna be ready to fight. All right. Jade boss is really OP. You want 
a really strong team. So as you see, my Bone Shaper, Shinnok and Revenant Kun Lao are gonna be great for dealing damage. Tournament Quan Chi is not gonna be that great for dealing damage, but he's gonna be great for reflecting damage. So I hope I didn't make a mistake replacing my um, Cold War Scorpion with Tournament Quan Chi. Let's see if I did. Obviously, if you have a Wrath Hammer or a Bloody Tomahawk that will give you additional stunning bar of power, do everything you can to increase the power generation speed or stunning power of your characters. It's gonna be extremely important fighting the Jade boss. Also, Tournament Quan Chi gives your characters vampirism, so if they're gonna be almost dead at the moment of doing x-ray, just tag with them and while they're still vampires, do x-ray and they will heal quite a bit from it. Fight. Impressive. Try to take as little damage as possible during your first battles because you don't want to get a special attack on your ass and lose half of your health before even facing Jade. Thanks to the vampirism, thanks for my tournament Quan Chi, my guys are healing every time they're using specials right after tag, so it's gonna be pretty useful. Let's kill him. Let's kill him and give me Jade. I'm ready to take her on or off. Whichever. As you see, I took almost no damage. I took no damage at all because every time I took damage, I healed thanks to the vampirism. So, I'm ready to take on Jade, guys. I'm pretty confident in my team. Thanks to the Shinnok that I <laughs> was able to get to Fusion 6, he's just gonna be such a great asset against Jade. But it may seem that my team is too OP for Jade, but trust me, I tried to defeat her before with weaker team and I couldn't. She's just too good. You need everything you can get. Every ounce of damage. So now, Fight. what you do, you do basic damage, you don't do combo enders, and you try to block every single attack she does. If you see that she's about to use a really strong attack, just tag with your Quan Chi. Or just if you're using some other team. Make sure that the if you have to lose a character, it's gonna be your weakest character. Obviously for, for different teams, strategy is gonna be quite different. As you see, I just beautifully reflected full damage back to her. No combo enders. Now that can happen. That can happen and that can really mess you up, guys. But hopefully she she will not kill me yet. No combo enders, Turn Sky, be a good boy. I'm gonna heal my Kun Lao. Okay, she reflected some back damage to her. Imagine after I do my two x-rays, guys. It's gonna demolish her. Also, she has damage over time, so you obviously don't wanna do too much damage before you can do all three x-rays. So try to block as much as possible before that. Try not to do any damage at all. Well, you don't... You won't do any damage at all because you're gonna be collecting enough power for x-rays okay my Quan Chi is too close to dying for my liking so I go back to my Shinnok he's pretty full so he shouldn't die too soon okay and we are ready to start our x-ray fast guys 
As soon as I get my Kumla out with three bars of power, we are ready. And let's do it now. Vampirism and X-Ray. First one. Again, I don't have any support cards. I don't have any talent tree. I don't have any good gear. So take this into consideration when you think how strong is the team I'm using right now. Basically, I didn't even need this Shinnok. I I destroyed Jade, basically. I Look, it's, it's total annihilation, guys. You can do it. You can, it, it can take a couple of tries, my suggestion is never use souls for healing if you lost the battle with Jade. Just try again from the start, you are gonna get this team, uh, first five battles are gonna be just piece of cake. Don't use souls for healing, it's just stupid. My team was too OP, I agree, but my victory was very overwhelming and I shared the strategy that you can use most efficiently utilize the characters you have again five characters that you want to have in your team even if they're a little bit weaker than other netherrealm characters you have if they're much weaker it's totally different story but must have five characters slasher jason unstoppable jason quan chi tournament quan chi and relentless jason basically all jasons and quan chi's are gonna be amazing Thank you guys for watching, if it was useful to you, and if I helped you to defeat Jade, share your success story in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video when we'll try to find the great teams and great strategies for the third tower. Thanks for watching, me and Raiden are out, subscribe for more, goodbye.